Okay, so I'm with Caitlin here at M Salon in Houston, and we are doing a Brazilian Express because, as you know, I constantly have to fight the frizzies, and in this humid climate, I'm looking for any trick of the trade that I can possibly find. So I was talking to Caitlin the other day, and she was telling me about the procedure, and I think it's something great for women like myself, maybe like you, who need a little extra oomph to get rid of the frizz. So go ahead and tell Absolutely. us about it. Yeah, I mean, when we talk about Brazilian blowout, obviously we mm -hmm. want to get rid of frizz. That's going to be our number one thing. Okay. But the great thing about Brazilian blowout is that there's so many different ways to customize it for your client or for you as the client. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite ways is obviously frizz. Second favorite is going to be locking in the color. So blondes, you know how it fades that brassiness. Mm -hmm. This will lock it in. You get longevity out of it. You get that shine. Redheads, obviously I know red. So Clearly. And, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> You're so, the queen of red in Houston, by the way. Exactly. So yeah. I know like the struggle mm -hmm. to keep that red in your hair. This really helps seal it in. And I think that that's something that we don't really explore with the Brazilian Express or the Brazilian Blowout in general is keeping it in. Another great way is to... Okay. Um, have that gray coverage that some people can't get. So when you go into the salon and a couple weeks later, those grays start peeking through. Right. Great way to keep it in there. That's interesting. Yeah. So, so. we've already shampooed my hair and what I loved about this is that you told me this is a great treatment to do after every time you color your hair. So absolutely. the Express is something that you would then do every six to eight weeks, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. Great thing about Brazilian Blowout, again, is it kind of like builds into your hair. So a lot of my clients will come in, they'll get their hair done. We'll do it several times every time they get their color. Right. And then it kind of builds up so you don't have to keep doing it every single time. So it's a a really great way to utilize it. Okay, and so how would we start now? My hair is wet. So, what's so your hair is you? wet. Um, obviously, we shampooed it, mm -hmm. and uh, we haven't put anything in it, so I was just kind of going through and detangling it. Right. Um, so typically what we would do for the Express is we would put the solution on at the shampoo bowl. I'm going to do it here just so we can see it. Okay. I'm going to take big sections and basically just put it all over and then sort of comb it through, make sure there's no extra product in. Right. Then I'm going to go through and blow dry it into the hair once that's nice and dry. We go through bigger sections with the Brazilian Express and we flat iron the hair so that creates like the bond for the Brazilian and that sort of like helps with the frizz helps lock in the, the color things like that okay so um, yeah that's gonna be our next steps All right, let's go for okay it. got it Excited. yeah me too so now I'm taking the solution right. I don't use gloves it's a personal preference okay. a lot of stylists do like to use gloves um, but I like to feel it into the hair so I'm doing half of a squirt into the bottle or into my hand and then I'm just really gonna put it on okay I don't really have to worry about like, you know, getting it straight on the roots. Right. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to go mid shaft to ends. And then what I like to do is just sort of feel it in the hair. We don't do um, conditioner after we shampoo it, so it's pretty rough. Once we put the solution in, it kind of acts like a conditioner. So I can feel when it's in there and when it's starting to work. What you don't know is that it took her 10 minutes just to comb out my rowdy hair. <laughs> right. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> there's, there's a stop and start button on this camera. <laughs> exactly. So then I'm just taking a wide tooth comb and just making sure that it's really saturated throughout the hair. Um, we are using a flat iron after this. So one of the most important things, a part of my job is to make sure that it's saturated and we're not like putting a flat iron onto hair that doesn't have the solution. There, would not, there wouldn't be any point to that. So, and you know, as a licensed sort of Brazilian um, stylist, I can tell like how much to put in there and how much, you know, if we need a little bit more. Okay. And another fun thing about this um, product 
clients is yeah. I have a lot of clients that are in drier areas of the country. Okay. So New York, Colorado, things like that. And then they keep going back and forth. A great thing about this is like when you go to a drier area, your hair gets staticky because yes. you're used to being in the humidity. This helps with the static. So if you're about to go to like a drier part of the world, right. this is a great way to get around that part. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, we'll comb it through one more time, then we'll okay. start the blow dry. All right. I do the same exact thing um, I would with a regular blow dry because it just gives it that extra like kick. Yeah. And you always want to use like a boar bristle brush just okay. so it like evenly sort of gets yeah. up the way. So if they have a stylus that goes to um, like a metal brush, I like, don't do that. <laughs> so. Yeah. I just really want to give it that extra smoothness. Yep. And I use a boar bristle brush. Yep. Um, this has some nylon tips in it, but it's not going to hurt anything. Right. All right, so blowout complete. Blowout is complete. Okay. So now we're just going to go through and um, flat iron throughout the hair. Okay. And so the difference between the Brazilian and the Express is the size or the amount of hair that's being flat ironed or how, it, how does it work? Yeah, so um, typically with like the full on Brazilian, you're going to take like smaller sections and you're going to go through it a little bit more detail oriented. Okay. With the Express, we're not necessarily doing that. We're making sure that the hair is saturated with the solution. Right. And then we typically take well, bigger sections and kind of go through and do this quicker. exactly a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. With that, it's not going to last as long, um, but you know that's why it's the Express. Right. Got so, it. Yeah. Okay, but it's the same solution that's used in the regular Brazilian and the Express. Is yes, that right. Absolutely, okay. same thing, just a lot quicker in the process. Absolutely. Right. And so, how long can I expect this to last? So with, for the Express, it depends on the person like aftercare. Um, typically with my clients, it's going to last probably six to eight weeks for a full on. Like real Brazilian, it's right. gonna last 10 to 12 weeks. Okay. Yeah. But usually around like six weeks is when you're like, okay, I need to get this done again. And that's usually the time you come in for color absolutely. Anyway. So yeah. it's really one stop shopping, isn't it? Yep. All it's right. great. And so I shouldn't be concerned with the smoke. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's just the solution. Right. Um, and really what it's doing is just bonding to your hair. So. No, you should not be concerned with the smoke. Okay. And I bet a lot of women with processed hair, and especially highlighted hair, are worried about the heat from the flat iron. Mm -hmm. Is it protecting the hair? It is protecting the hair. So um, the Brazilian blowout has amino acids in it, so it kind of coats uh, the outer layer of the hair, and it really helps like condition the hair. So if it's done properly, it's not going to damage your hair. What happens is, especially if you're going like really quickly through it, or you're not paying attention, or you're not combing through, um, spots can get missed, and it's a pretty high heat. Yeah. So you want to make sure that it's done diligently. Okay. So stylus matters. Stylus definitely matters. Okay. But you can kind of see like the big sections that I'm taking. Uh -huh. um, and you know, that way like we're still preserving all of your curl pattern, all of that. We're just trying to get rid of that frizz okay. and really create some shine in there, which I can already see a lot of. Right. So if I were to let my hair air dry or not fully blow dry, I will still have all my waves. Oh yeah, that, but absolutely. I'm not have that outer puff. No, it's okay. exactly. It just kind of brings it down. And it makes your blowouts a lot easier to um, tackle. So if you have like, you know, hard hair that it takes a really long time, this cuts the time down in half. Um, it just helps smooth everything out. It just makes things a lot easier. Super. You're speaking my language. Yeah, right? <laughs> Every lady's language know, right there. Well, there's some lucky ones out there. I you know, the, the air, the, the ones who can let their hair air dry. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll never be that person. I know. Uh, yeah, I can already see a lot of shine in here, which is really great. I love it. So we're almost done. Tell me the difference between this and a keratin treatment. So a big difference is going to be this is kind of easy like you can leave the salon you don't have to wait a couple of days for your hair to sort of settle and um, I think after about three days you can't wash your hair for three days with the keratin treatment um, I mean just from my personal experience 
I've seen the hair, if you do a keratin treatment a lot, it tends to kind of break a little bit, yeah. you know? Yeah. So that's something that you have to worry about. With this, you have the amino acids in there, which help like keep your hair nice and healthy as opposed to like that protein. So interesting. It's a big because difference. everybody always thinks that the keratin treatment is what's going to make their hair healthier, right? And stronger. But I did notice that I had some breakage after yeah. I did it. Yeah. I did it dry. Yeah. Hmm. Sometimes a too much of it is right. not good. Not a good thing. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> straighten out those bangs mm -hmm. a little. Yeah. That's. Can you tell? Can you tell my curly spot right there? <laughs> what I fight right every there? time. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. So then it's really up to the stylist to help figure out where somebody struggles with pink curl and frizz and to maybe do a few extra little... Oh, absolutely, oh. absolutely. Okay. And again, this is so customizable that you can do those things with it and you're yeah. not going to damage the hair or anything like that. That's so. Great. Yeah, it looks nice. Yeah. Super. Awesome. So that would be the Brazilian Express. Wow. And that was quick. That yeah. took no time. Maybe like 15 minutes? A little, yeah, 15 minutes mm -hmm. extra after yeah. the blow dry and it's done. And then this lasts me until my next color. Yep. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what my first blow dry is like. Oh my God, but it'll I think be so I'm much gonna easier. <laughs> you should, you should. Well, Let it sit in there for a little bit. And so it's best not to shampoo your hair too often, right? Right, so if you shampoo your hair every day, obviously you can do that, it's not a problem. Um, but it's not gonna make this last longer. Okay. So if you wait like three days, four days, this is gonna last a lot longer in your hair as opposed to somebody who would be shampooing every day. And I think a lot of women might wonder if I put say a curling iron mm -hmm. or a flat iron to get some waves, well then I'd be putting waves back into my hair. No, um, it's not taking out your natural texture no matter what. Right. So if you use a curling iron or anything like that, it's fine. It's not gonna mess it up. It's not gonna do anything. Really what this is gonna do is just make sure that, that frizz isn't there, make sure your color's stained, you know, so doing a right. flat iron or um, a curling iron isn't going to make a difference. So what this is going to do basically is make me not resent a Houston summer. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good. She's gonna love it. She's okay. gonna love it. I'm very, very excited. You know there's gonna be a follow-up for sure. <laughs> Caitlin, thank you yeah, of so course. very my much. Pleasure. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for educating my audience about yeah. what Brazilian Express is. Absolutely. And I'll be doing a follow-up with everybody too yeah. to show them how everything's wearing over yes. the weeks to come. Sounds so. good. Well, I'll be here. Alright. <laughs> Bye Thanks. guys. Okay, so this is post Brazilian blowout and I don't know whose hair this is. <laughs> because it's not mine. I mean, I know I can do a pretty good blowout, but the way this feels is almost indescribable. It's like, it's like silk and my hair is never like silk. So yes, I know I'm straight out of the salon. So of course I'm happy. Um, I will be doing a follow-up with you and show you how this wears throughout the next couple of weeks. But man, so far, so good. See you next week, next Thursday at one o'clock. Be bold and be blessed. Be brave. See you then.